Well, 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 another favorite out spot. Allah Yomi Koiki in Niger Diaspora. As you can see, the Western world as bright as anything else. And it makes you wonder why Africa is in darkness. They've done everything within their own power. And here comes that boss that finally takes us home. But as you can see, 24 hours electricity right in the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that in Nigeria. So it makes you it makes you think why it's so difficult. Can you move in please? you wonder why things are not working on the other side of the planet. Again, as usual, my name is Allah Yomi Kohiki. As you can see, things are working the way it's meant to be working. Why the Western world are not holding all our leaders accountable? If they are not looking after the citizen, it's one thing. I was talking about a particular building at the beginning of my radio show this evening. I'll be able to show you a little bit of that building. It's a project that started and has now been completed. So many failed projects in Nigeria. Why all these projects start and it doesn't get completed is another question mark. As you can see to your left hand side, is the building I was talking about when I started my radio show. Right there on your left hand side, that building started sometime I think around last year. As you can see now, it's almost at least about 80% you know, completed. You know, why is it that most projects get started in Nigeria and they never get to finish? It's a big question mark. As you can see, there's a, there's a guy in there still working. I think the security, that could be an office or whatever it's going to be. But it's a project that started right in the middle of the center of London. Yet, they were able to put all the safety net to make sure the project doesn't disturb any other person that is going their day-to-day -day activities. Why, why, why is a big question mark, three letter word. We've been talking about African, African only for how long, but yet things are still not working. When do we get that good government? When do we start enjoying it is a big question mark. We will continue to talk and we will continue to share. Sometimes, um, some of the messages that we might be posting out might not be your taste but the most important thing is we still have to bring it out there's a lot of people that are angry and there will be a lot of fractions but the question mark is we need the good government to be able to take us to the next level it's only what they oh thank you very much my my honorable chief bimbo for lying i just noticed you there um, thank you very much NDDIS for those of you that have missed that you need to go back and watch some of the video clips on YouTube I'm just trying to get my power bank. It's been a long day as usual Like I keep saying um, my wife was telling me whether I should stay home and I said no We have to do what we have to do. I have to be at the studio And I'm grateful that a lot of people were able to tune in and like I said, we'll be bringing in on ye to come and speak to us at least about 15 minutes to encourage us and make us understand that you know no matter how difficult or whatever you're going through now we will all survive what we need is good leadership as long as we have good leadership that can lead not just nigeria but all the african leaders then we will start enjoying the same thing we're all enjoying in europe again as usual there should not be any reason why we should be all with what is happening back home 
Next week, um, Tokumba's Kitchen will be at uh, Niger Diaspora in the studio. And we're also bringing um, a very important guest that is in town. She'll be coming to speak to us um, about child safety, not just in Nigeria. She resides in Lagos. You got to remember our children are very important, especially now they're on holiday. You have to keep an eye. You have to check if, you're, if their child are telling you, I don't want to go to an uncle or I don't want to go to an auntie. You might want to just cross check the reason why rather than putting the sentiment of the African you know that um, you know they must go to there somewhere because a lot of children have been abused especially you know in Nigeria a lot of videos a lot of graphic video we've been seeing in the last couple of days you know this particular lady will be speaking to us next week Wednesday on Niger Voices where she'll be giving us the tips of what you should look out for to make sure your children are not being abused um, trafficking is still a big problem but all most important thing is um, poverty brings all these problems you know I keep saying if, if a state is not performing they should add it to another state and at least you know that will solve less problem rather than you know uh, making it difficult in terms of um, the civil servant that are working and they are not getting paid again uh, thank you for those that logged in while we were having a radio show this evening. It's another beautiful radio, uh, another good event. This weekend is another busy weekend. We'll be at Oak Kent Road on Sunday. Uh, I'll be bringing to you a security summit that is taking place at the Westminster tomorrow. Um, you know, Juliet Makapila and also Temintokpa Oludo will be there as well. Thank you very much, Lagmo, for joining. I saw you enjoying yourself. You didn't take me with you. I saw how you are, how you were relaxing. I'm, I'm sure you're back now. Hope you had a good time. The most important thing is that we must all continue to say something. We need good leaders to lead us in Africa to deliver us from the bondage. They have the access to the power now, but they have to utilize it properly. I was reading um, you know, the, the Honorable Chief Bimba Polanyo post just less than about half an hour ago where you know, he posted something to do with those that are wealthy and how humble they are. You know, these are what we are saying. We cannot have 20 senators, sitting senators still collecting pension. It doesn't add up. You know, uh, why will you still be a senator and you're still collecting pension? You know, that's a big question. These are the questions that a lot of people are asking. Why, why, why? Even the Senate president just actually stopped his own from Quara State. You know, a lot of things, 47 billion Naira was just found again, you know, Val and another 287 million dollars. These are huge money that could turn a community into a standard like United Kingdom. But we need those leaders that can transform it. There's a guy in Nasarawa State, 300 acres of land. At the moment, they've planted maize, no government funding. There's a big opportunity in the country, and we must also emphasize on that. If, uh, if, the, if all the other countries are still going into the country, that tells you Nigeria is still a great place. But we need the right leaders to direct us, especially the diaspora really want to come home. And they have a lot of them that are, just want to do something, whether small or big. If you watch one of my video clips that I did um, on, on Monday early morning, about 5 o'clock in the morning, the consignment is already on its way to Lagos. We're just doing our own little bit to give back to the community back home. It was a hard work. My son is 10 years old. I had to make him stay awake and let him understand that. That's the reality of life sometimes. You know, what he's doing will make a big difference for the consignment that we just shipped to Nigeria. We're only doing our own little bit. We're not waiting for the government. Everyone, wherever you've come, whether from Ogun State, Anambra, Enugu, Imo, Port name it. We must continue to give. And I know a lot of us are doing that because, I mean, a lot of old school association. I went to Abekata Grammar School. Every year we are donating back to the school. 
And we must continue to do that to leverage the gap. You know, if you've got books, if you've got whatever you have, you know, make use of it, send it back to someone in Nigeria, it will make a big difference. We're not going to leave everything to the government, but we must hold the government accountable at the right time. Again, as usual, my name is Alayo Mikoike. Thank you very much for everyone that have logged in and those that have been following us. It's another long weekend. African Fashion Week is coming up on Friday and Saturday. We'll be bringing that to you live and direct from Auburn. And then we'll be heading to Oakland Road where Prince Easy will be launching his book. Um, it's going to be an amazing evening. They get together, you know, a humanity for advocacy all the time. And all we can say is um, we have great, great Nigerians all over the world. But the most important thing is for us to continue to be great, we must be united. There will always be problems. There will always be um, misunderstanding. But as long as we can continue to be a united country, we will be able to pull out a lot of other African leader, uh, uh, countries. A lot of African countries are looking up to Nigeria. So even those of us that are living outside the country, regardless of whatever misunderstandings we're all going through, we must continue to work together and we can pull that force. Um, 2018, I'm sure a lot of you have been reading that there will be, um, you have to have your national identity card before you get a passport but there was a clarity on that i forgot to mention that on the radio i'll mention that next week but um the magistrate um you know elijah bilikisu was able to speak to the high commission and this is what we are saying we need communi communi communication is to go out quickly before it becomes out of hand you know i believe you know we don't have to phone the high commission before the high commission will be able to tell the diaspora that you are not going to be part of that in terms of 2018 January, if you're renewing or getting a new Nigerian passport, you must have your national identity um, number with you. So again, um, you know, these are things that the High Commission should be able to, you know, send out to the community so that we don't keep hearing all kind of different diluted and undiluted messages. We're living in a global world now and messages are traveling very fast especially if they are not authentic. So we must be able to, you know, um, give out the right news. Again, um, do follow us on the Facebook, on Twitter, and we will continue to bring Niger Voices to you every Wednesday. We will also engage with the community with all your projects or plans. If you need the media aspect of it, do get in touch with us. And also, um, for those of you that are still thinking 2019 is far away, I can sleep and wake up and see 2019 is not far away. We must continue to um, tell you know, those back home to go and collect their PVC. We are not campaigning for any party, but we must be able to tell you that the good leadership will be able to direct us to the right place we want Nigeria to be like. I mean, I keep saying it doesn't matter what time of the day you're traveling in western world as long as you're careful there's a lot of problems we saw it um was it in the news two days ago where a jogger was pushed to the to the bus we have a lot of lunatic people moving around as well people are throwing acid but the safety and security is still there compared to nigeria where it's very difficult to traveling you know at the early hours when i was traveling on on monday morning just about four o'clock in the morning, I was still on the A406 because we were loading and we did that for almost seven hours. And I'm so happy now that the consignment is right on its way to Nigeria and it will make a big impact to those that will be, you know, um, having access to those consignment that we shipped. Even my son was able to help out and I made him understand the reason why. And a big thank you to, uh, you know, my cousin for making it happen as well, Olawali Olayinka. Again, these are just individual doing their own little bit, but we must continue to push. We still remember the IDP, the last time um, Femi, Ulua Femi, Arotoku, I believe he's in Nigeria now, you know, came on my show. You know, we could not raise a lot of money within the community for a project that is going to be helping out in IDP camps. We know there's a lot of problems. You know, if our hearts bleed when we see 
you know, citizens, our, our, our brothers and sisters living in abject poverty, whether in the north, in the east, in the south, too much killing. There was a young boy, I just saw it on Facebook not too long ago. He was only trying to settle a, you know, a problem in Lagos Island. He was shot dead. You know, there's just too much problems. And the question is three letter words, why? You know, if, if there's less poverty, if anyone believes that if I'm not feeling well, I can go to the hospital, at least get a minimum treatment, which we all enjoy in Europe. If I'm not feeling well, I go to the hospital, I'll be taken care of. You know, these are the little things that people are requesting and asking for as well back home, and that could then make a big difference. But the problem is, those that are the leaders are not making this happen. And as long as you're not making this happen, it becomes a big headache. It becomes a big problem to the society where we've now had so much ritual killings all the time, day in, day out. Yes, we must continue to love our culture, which I love so much, our heritage. But what we are seeing now is just too much ritual killing. And this is just about the poverty level in the country. There's poverty from the north to the south to the east. You know, there's crude oil, but people are still suffering. There's mineral resources, people are still suffering. And, you know, a lot of meetings, a lot of paper. I was, I was uh, following the, you know, the Twitter page of the, um, you know, the Minister for Agriculture. Another paper was released again today. There's just too much policy papers that is not making any impact. People read, need real action. You know, we, we've got too much PhD, masters, only God knows, but we are not getting the result that we want. And you know, the question is why? Why is it taking too long for us to get the result? You know, we need leaders that can think. You know, I mentioned it during my radio show. You know, you know somewhere in Europe, I can't remember exactly which of the European country, they started laying solar panel for the street where electric cars will drive on top and it will recharge it. And we have abundant of sunlight all the time and we can't convert that into electricity to all the rural areas in Nigeria. You know, these are things that we ask why, why, why? You know, why is it that we are not doing things the right way? You know, we're still thinking, you know, backwards. Even I was looking at the, uh, the Minister for Transportation, you know, um, in terms of the rail, you know, we should be using a proper rail network to move goods. While I was um, taking the consignment that we're shipping to Nigeria, which is already on its way, um, yesterday to, um, to where we were loading, on our way back, I was showing my son on the 813. For those that know the 813 very well, there's a Ford motor showroom or whatever it is, right on the 813. And I saw a lot of cars have been parked on the train. And these are cars that they are moving, whether to Manchester, to Glasgow. They don't have to go on the road. You know, the Nigerian roads are not very good yet. You know, the, the, the trucks are driving on top of it. Accident. You know, we lost a sister in Gombe State. You know, may our soul rest in perfect peace. These are the questions that people are asking, you know. If you're not fixing the road, you're not giving us electricity, you're not giving us security then you might as well just tell them to add your state to another state. But there's no point we're having 36 states and we cannot feed the citizens of those states. Um, the statistics through a post I was reading on Facebook, I need to confirm on that. Average Nigerians through the government is about 3,000 Naira per head. And you ask yourself how much is 3,000 Naira? You cannot even use that to travel to uh, Abuja. From Lagos, I'm sure it's more expensive on the coach. So, it's, um, you know, are we going to continue this way, or are we going to see those changes come 2019? I don't know. You need to ask yourself: Are you going to continue watching someone like me talking, or are you going to start mobilizing people around you? You send money home, so you must be able to tell them: Look, I can't send you money if you're not voting. You must be able to vote. I was listening, I was reading a post, and these are details sometimes you are, when you, you know, I love reading the comments, you know, when uh, there's a lot of dialogue on a post on Facebook, because you learn a lot from the comment. And someone says, I think it's got to do with the, those that are protesting in Abuja, 
in, uh, that the president needs to return back or resign. And someone says, you know, the policemen, you know, are doing what they are doing because a lot of those that are educated were not interested to become a policeman. So now we've got people that are, you know, there doing what they have to do. So, you know, we're not interested in politics, but politics dictates what you do day in, day out. So there's a lot to discuss, but uh, we will take it one at a time. But the most important thing is uh, let's become focused, especially those outside the country. We must continue to bring the good image of the country um, because one Nigeria created problems, every Nigeria is carried along. One Nigeria becomes great, every Nigerian gets carried along. You might be the right person to make it great, and if you're not making any effort, like Oni was saying, he loves hot chocolate a lot, but unfortunately, if he doesn't put hot water into that hot chocolate, it doesn't become hot chocolate. It just become a powder. So, are you just someone that's still waiting to put hot water to make what you're thinking or what you want to do to be great? Are you a farmer? Are you a you know, vator or you technology, business, whatever it is that you're doing, until you had hot water to eat, you won't get the result. I don't want to disturb a lot of people on the bus. I didn't have enough time to start talking before the bus came. But again, my name is Olaya Mikori Kate, and it's always a pleasure to have you watching. Have a good evening, and I'll be speaking to you maybe tomorrow when I'm at the security summit that is taking place at Portico House. Thank you very much, Tenitokbe um, Olodo, for sending me a private VIP ticket. You know, I'm really, really pleased. I'll try, you know, to be there myself tomorrow, and also. Uh, on Friday, we're bringing to you one of the biggest, the finest African Fashion Week. You don't want to miss that. Who know like Africa? We are now. You know, we are all proud of our African attire. This is an event that has been taking place for the last uh, few years, since 2011. Nigeria Diaspora is a media partner, and we're bringing it to you live on Friday and also on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we'll be heading to Oak Kent Road, where I look forward to um, the book launch Prince AZ. You know, it's going to be a very beautiful evening, networking, and we'll be bringing that to you live as well for those of you that are not in the United Kingdom. If you want to attend that event, make sure you send an email to him so that they can um, log you in so that you'll be able to attend. It's always a pleasure to have um, every one of you. Olai Di Olai Inka, thank you for joining all the way from Ikurudu. I hope the Bado problem has been reduced a little bit. Thank you, Abimbola Thomas Adebayo for joining as well. Uh, Chibimbo for Lion, one of the great men in the United Kingdom, doing great things, making things happen. Thank you for joining. Kolade O Alabi, thank you really for joining. Adebimpe Morolake, thank you very much for joining. Lagun Akintoye, Akiloye, the big man himself. Olawale Moshut Saka, thank you for joining. Tayo Akiyemi, I believe you were my first um, audience that joined. And for those of you that have not seen your name, I know sometimes Facebook doesn't show all the names of those that have logged in. But I say to you, thank you very much for joining. And it's time for me to say Odabo. And I'll speak to you sometime tomorrow. Be safe. Sometimes stay away from the trouble. A young guy lost his life at Lagos Island just trying to settle a problem. May the soul rest in peace. May the family he left behind continue for them to be able to, you know, um, go through the pain, you know, dog papa, all the way from Reading, I cite you, making things happen. You must follow this guy, all these are your dogs. When are they gonna come down to my show now? We need to work something out, as long as they behave themselves. I should have you on the show very soon. Doc Papa should be working with the Nigerian police very soon. I've had a conversation with him before. When it comes to dog handling, these are real experts. So we should be bringing him to speak to us on the radio sometime very soon. Maybe with one of his dogs, but not three dogs though, because me, I'm scared for dog. Though. Anyway, hello, how is your missus as well? Fellow to her for me. Thank you very much. Good afternoon and have a good evening.